Well, good day to everyone. I'm back on the river and uh, starting where about where I ended uh, in the last river vid video. And yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what I find today. Um, looking forward to it. Took the day off. So the sun is coming up and uh, making this rock here glow. So it's got a coarse fracture to it, not very glossy, but it glows. So I'm going to take it. It's a big piece of quartz or chalcedony or uh, who knows what. But I'll take that. That'll be a good one to slice and see what's inside. And then this big piece. Ooh, there's some lines up here. Let's focus on there. See if I can focus. There you can see some lines up at the top here. I don't know how well this is going to focus, but um, hmm, looks like some maybe some. Some agate banding. I'll take it home and get it cleaned up and get you some better pictures of it. There is just so much material here. So I'm packing up, getting ready to float down the river again, and I see this sticking in the sticking out. Let's see if I can get a good capture on that. It's kind of a silica cavity, but it's not crystals. It's, what do they call it, vitroidal? Anyway, I'll get you some better pictures of that. This I want to capture because I suspect that this might be a point of some sort. Uh, let's get something to... And if it is, and it appears to be, it may be broken, but this is my first... arrowhead and it's a broken point first point of the season boy look at that red though and it's broken unfortunately but I've got a nice worked in and wow look at that look at that red the red caught my eye and uh, the the flaking along the side told me uh, you want to film this so there we go. My first partial point. I guess I should dig around and see if the rest of it is around here somewhere. So I'm at the edge of another pretty steep eroded area. Of course, there's no gravel bar down river. Well, across the river, the smaller stuff, but the bigger stuff is right here. So, let's see what we find here. Something tells me I'm going to overextend myself today and take home a lot, like my last trip to the river. A lot of this uh, 
light blue chert or silica or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the thing I wanted to show you, I just picked up this rock and realized, ooh, this is heavy. I think I've got some pyrite here or something within the pyrite family. Family, It's plain on the back, but you can see the crystals right at the base of the the base of the eroded portion so that looks pretty nice so here's where The confusion comes in in my mind is if you have a piece of chert that has agate banding in it is it chert or is it agate this looks kind of interesting with the swirl in there Ooh, no, that's more than just a swirl. Let's see if I can focus on this better. Hmm. Very good. Then there's another piece just right over here that has some nice red mixed in with some others. Clearly silica, so I'm going to take that. Look at the pattern on that. Make that, what, piece number three of petrified coral for today? So this piece right here looks really interesting. And I thought I would uncover it while I'm filming. I'm doing a lot that I'm not filming. another piece of coral. Let's go wash it off. It's really sunny here, which means I can't see the screen. It's some sort of fossil. If it isn't, if it isn't a coral, it's interesting. Yeah, we'll get that better cleaned up at home. Show you some good pictures of it. So here's a piece of red I just picked up. It has a quartz vein in the center of it. That should look really nice cleaned up, cleaned out. So I'm on a different gravel bar here and got another handful of who knows what to, to wash off. 
It's a nice red and yellow jasper. This I don't think is anything, but I think I'll leave that. This one, I saw the, the texture of the rock and pulled it out of the ground. And it's got these nodes of silica in it. And uh, those of you who watched my last cutting video know why I picked this up then. Because I found a similar one that had, had more silica sticking out of it. And I didn't expect much from it. I cut it and there was a geode on the inside. So I don't know if these are just surface or whether there's something inside there, but that'll definitely be on my next cutting video. There's only one way to find out what's inside. This one looked very interesting, almost like it's Almost like it's wood, but I really don't know. I think I might take that just to clean it off better at home and see what, what it may be. Piece of red with some, some uh, silica in there. Incidentally, I'm in the midst of tumbling a batch and I threw in a piece similar to this. And, you know, at a quick look it looks kind of like a piece of granite, red granite. But what I found after, after this was tumbling for a while is it's red jasper with a bunch of uh, silica pockets, almost like a silica jasper, uh, an agate jasper mix. This is just an interesting piece. I'll take that and slice that as well. Or if it's a uh, another big crinoid stem or some other fossil, which I don't know what it is. Mm. I might have to polish the ends of that just to get a. I don't know if that would destroy its value or or what but it'd be nice to see fascinating one last wash off I uh, found this one poking up and saw all the sparkles on it there's a crystal cavity right here, and I saw a vein of this blue. It reminded me of that blue agate that I found on my first time down the river. Maybe some bandings back here. Anyway, let's wash it off. A lot of white, looks like. We'll, uh, better clean it off at home. Looks like there's some banding here, banding down here. Here's the crystal pocket. It'll be interesting to see. So there's a couple faces here that don't have crystals that maybe I could slice and get a idea for the 
some banding here. I probably already pointed that out. So I'm on an island now. It's a pretty big island. The river gets really wide here. Stretches, I'm, I'm about in the middle. And it's kind of interesting how things go. A lot of good material here. Um, so my last stop, I got a bunch of red. And this stop, I'm finding some interesting glue. Um, show you, we probably ought to wash these off, but this one caught my eye because of the, the dark blue and a couple other pieces. I don't know if they're hard and silica, but they, they um, this one has some nice swirls in it. This caught my attention and picked it up, looked at it, put it back down, thought I'd film this because it's a it's a almost round nodule and um, it looks like there's a crystal cavity there so that is a candidate for slicing open and see what it looks like on the inside I think that might be a really nice agate there here's another what looks like to be a fossil it off. It's a fossil of something. It has a different different look than the crinoid or the last one that I picked up. Here's another piece of petrified coral. interesting you can see in the in the individual cells you can see there's white in there that's interesting oh, that intrigues me looks like uh Host rock, host rock on the outside, or parent rock, or what do they call it, matrix. But it looks pretty agaty in the middle. So, we'll take that and see what it looks like. So here's a piece of chalcedony that was glowing in the sun. Looks, there's some, looks like there's some bands in there, maybe a crystal pocket in the center. Well, as I show you, a few extra pieces that I didn't show in the course of the video. I'd like to close out this video and thank you all for watching this far. This day I spent about 10 hours on the river putting in about 7.30 in the morning and taking out at about 5.30 in the evening. I collected three and a half Ziploc, gallon Ziploc baggies full of material and easily didn't stop by half of the gravel bars that I passed. So it was a full day, a tiring day, but a very rewarding day at the same time. So I again thank you all for watching and again please stay tuned and hopefully more will be to follow.